She's screaming louder. A little boy's desperate call for help. A young mom, Stefani Neal, shot. The assailant, her enraged husband, Ronald Neal. Now, a standoff. Ronald refuses to come out of the house while his wife bleeds to death in the bedroom. Stefani's sister-in-law, Denise, arrives to find the family's once loving home turned upside down. When I got there, it was just pure chaos. I'm used to going there and seeing one or two police, but not police everywhere, tape everywhere. I had to make that phone call to her brother, to her mother, to her cousin. Stefani's brother, Kevin, calls Ronald, and hears this from a man he once called family. He picked right up on the first ring, and I asked him, what did you do to my sister? And he said, I shot her. And just like that, I shot her three times. For more than two hours, hostage negotiators try to get Ronald to surrender. But he puts them off, saying, give me a few more minutes and let me get dressed. All while Stefani's life slowly slips away. So you're just going to let her sit there? You're not going to let them come in there and, and help my sister? No. I'm not. So that was his whole plan the entire time, was to sit there and let her bleed out. The SWAT team can't let that happen. They rush in. Ronald fires two rounds at police. He misses and thankfully runs out of bullets. When they did enter through the door, well, he had already used his last bullet. And so I guess they didn't shoot him because they realized that the slide was back on the gun and there was no more ammo in the gun. Rescuers move Stevani to the front yard to administer CPR. Tragically, it's too late. We was on the highway and we got the call. Stevani's cousin Nisi is racing to the scene with Stevani's mom when they get the terrible, fatal news. When she got the call, she just like started screaming. I'm so sorry. She started screaming and she said, uh, she didn't make it. And I asked, could I see her? And they said, no, because it was a crime scene. And I told her I had to see my baby, but I couldn't see her. Ronald Neal is dragged from his hiding place and arrested for murder. The Arlington police have a lot of questions for the crazed killer, but the first thing the heartless gunman wants is to talk to his mom. Why do you need to talk to your mom? Just make sure I'm doing the right thing. OK. I'm sorry. Um, um, got these detectives right here that want to interview me. But, um, you to wait to your attorney. Okay. We love you, sorry. We're praying for you, but you're not in this alone, okay? Okay. Is this petition, Yeah. But those tears aren't for Stevani. In fact, Ronald acts surprised that his wife is dead. Can you tell me what I'm being charged with? Yeah, you're being charged with, um, for right now, murder and um, two counts of attempted capital murder. Murder? Yes. She didn't die, did she? Yes, she did. Huh? Yes, she did. Oh, no, I never did that. Yeah. Ronald claims insanity. He tried to plead insanity. <laughs> he tried to do everything. He tried to plead insanity. He tried to plead crime of passion. But I told the DA, no. I'm not going out like that. But before the mental illness defense can be tested in court, Ronald makes a surprising turnaround. When he pled guilty, what went through you? He punked out because he didn't want to face the uh, truth of what that jury was going to give him. If Ronald Neal thought the judge would be lenient in his sentencing, he was wrong. The judge gave him 80 years. And, you know, in Texas, that's basically the equivalent to a life sentence. He'll have to serve 30 before he's eligible for parole. Stevani's cousin Nisi still doesn't think it's enough. Life in prison. He can still, his family can still see him. We can't see Stevani. What would you have chosen for him? <laughs> Give me a gun and let me shoot him. Let his family feel our pain. Now the question, was Ronald's case a blueprint for murder for his brother Russell, 
who confessed to killing the mother of his two kids six years later. When you heard about Catherine, I, I can't believe this has happened again in the same family. I'm like, what is wrong with them? The similarities between the two, eerie and scary. Very. 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 Russell is still holding on to the insanity defense while being evaluated in a mental facility awaiting trial. We scheduled an exclusive sit-down interview with his brother Ronald Neal behind bars. We wanted to know, could the convicted murderer tell us anything to help understand what drove his brother Russell to kill Catherine, much in the same way he murdered his wife. But just minutes before our interview was set to begin, all bets were suddenly off. When Ronald Neal got word that we were on prison property, he refused to come out of his cell, even though he had previously agreed to do an interview with us. And after a lot of talking back and forth between the wardens and other prison personnel, he still did not budge. But Ronald had someone deliver this letter to me, which reads, I, Ronald Neal, do not want to participate with the media interview in any way at this time. With Ronald now tight-lipped, Crime Watch Daily paid a visit to Russell and Ronald's parents in Waco, Texas, to see if they could shed some light on their two sons. To date, they have not responded to our request for an interview. His family, have they ever tried to reach out to you to offer condolences, to apologize, surprise you? Mm -mm. Why not? It just doesn't. That's just their way. Mm -hmm. Until the former pop singing sensation Russell Neal goes to trial, any kind of justice in Catherine's case is put on hold, leaving two grieving families to pick up the pieces while sharing these words of warning. Just listen and be there for your family. Pay close attention. Don't ignore it. Save them. I don't care what you got to do. If you know it's happening or you have already experienced it with them the first time, Get them out of there before you end up like us. Please. Now we want to hear from you. After hearing the evidence, do you think Russell Neal should stand trial for the death of Catherine Martinez? Sound off right now on our Facebook page.